just in case so on the main page on the news forum page here the first entry in the news forum is my entry it says screencasts of lab sessions click that and this will just show you the first screencast from last week and if you missed this watch it and but I think you should watch it in library or in a in a in a campus workstation so that you can simultaneously repeat <coughs> what I'm teaching here um, if you have stata copy you can do it at home but if you don't have stata copy don't do this at home because it gets confusing now if you click on the title it takes you to my channel on YouTube and I have the videos listed here the, yeah. it's, it's a playlist of all the videos this. you will come uh, screencasts you, you come across uh, of this for this course or you will be this you'll be here. you'll be the watching for this section. course at the moment only one entry because we had only got yes, uh, we have so far had the the, the first lesson the now we type or execute. Um, so the first command here is 84 views. views so I don't know how many groups I have but or, sorry, 84 views uh, probably <coughs> 10 of them is my own view to show the other students so, this is a direct <laughs> so, if I, if I so my, you can uh, see 7 to 4 uh, students watched it basically line, I guess they aren't all uh, me missing the you, you the they, they didn't actually uh, miss the class they probably it checked it now that's so that. That's today's lesson will also be there come shortly come back, come back after we finish yeah, today's now, class. Okay. In the middle Any here, questions on this? Middle here. This section. No. Here. Done. Every week before you come to the class, try this anyway. Try to watch it. It's not that long as well. Even especially today's one will be about 20 minutes long. Next, if you are new, those who were here last week, just get, uh, just wait a minute or two. If you are new, follow this uh, screen uh, cursor now. Basically, cursor on the screen. Go to QM Plus and go to the uh, week two section or week three. Either one is fine. I'll go to week three. My week two is open. I could do that. My, anyway, week three. And right at the bottom of that list is is lab materials <coughs> folder. Lab materials <coughs> folder. This 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 is an instruction for the yeah. students who are doing this lab for the first time, not for the students who came here last week. No. You have the materials already saved in your G folder, so leave it. So lab materials, and actually uh, the, the guy removed it from here. So we have to go back to week two now. We need DTA file, DTA file. So go back. I've been using week two. I thought maybe he uploaded in week three as well. Looks like he didn't. So week two, week two. So uh, maybe Tom didn't actually have uh, upload it to week because he knows that we have been using the same file so it wasn't there anyway go back to lab materials next lab materials folder and is the last file that you need it is the last file LFS underscore lab w0 DTA click that you will see it downloads the file and if you're using Chrome browser it should be on your left hand side corner Click up arrow and go to show in folder and copy that file, copy and then paste it into documents, paste it into documents, paste. I have it already here so I don't have to replace it, no. I had it from last week. So do you do that please. Now, has anyone had any difficulty doing this? Yeah, you didn't open. You shouldn't open it. You just copy and paste it into a documents folder. Okay, let me help you now. For last week, yes. Hold on, don't open anything, guys. This are our workstations. Now, this workstation do not have stata. We are actually reading from a server. Show you. Later, you will create a folder. For this course, this one new, I'll, I'll be doing it for the first time. But you should really have a folder for this course. You'll be doing this analysis using the same file and saving everything into that folder. If you do that, please, it helps. Now, next, this instruction is now for everyone, uh, including those who were here last week and those are new. And also, also, if you have already opened, leave it. Now. Go to the uh, search bar here on the left hand side corner in the Windows panel. You see the Windows search or next to the, the logo, Windows logo, and type Stata or Stata. Yeah, in simple, Stata. 
and hit enter once it's there and uh, you should get a prompt asking you to update okay and I don't have it nice I tried to update it before so next notes that we don't have the variables to the left yeah to the right of the screen you see variables list is empty we want to bring that <coughs> downloaded file or if you have saved it open that file into 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 the state file guys next next let's e import sorry I'm going to say export she attended earlier lectures so she's instead of talking to that lady there she would rather go um, file file open everyone please file open those who are new and also do not look at your mobile phones for the moment you will miss it and you're gonna delay the whole class pro progress open open and <coughs> navigate to the folder where you saved your data last time and this time as well if you are from last week you must have your folder already there and go to that folder in my case it's a documents folder and open LFS lab w2 those who are new opens open LFS lab w0 open it please open and you see that your variables now turn up here they, sh they are shown here there are <coughs> 53 variables I can't help you because you've been doing your mobile phone. You need to ask someone there now. Um, now, next thing is we need to now open a do file. For that, if you are new, if you are new, you need to create the do file first. But others, wait for me now. Those who are new, look at the board. Window. Do file editor. New do file editor. And put this on the side of the screen. It should be empty, just li leave it for now. Done? Right. Next, those who are all hands, open file, open file, and open, and then go to the do file, my do file, or whatever name you have given it. This is do, it should have a do extension, dot do. Open that file. <coughs> and you get this list of things that we did last time, the syntax for the last class. Yeah, and now you see I prepared week three already for myself. So you, you must have done the same. So let me show you what I'm trying to say here. Uh, I'll zoom this now. No, that's something you do on your own at some point uh, during the week. But try to do the homework, please. They're all relevant for this class. I mean, for your assignment, very useful. A good material for practice. Guys, if, if I see you doing your working, I mean, playing your mobile phones, I won't be able to help you if you raise your hand for help. You should really listen to me because you are holding everyone else progress. You know, you're holding everyone else from moving ahead because I have to go around and help. Since you aren't listening, since you are being disruptive, it doesn't help me and it doesn't help others who, pay th who are paying 36,000 in, in, in the next three years. So try to be friendly, considerate when you're doing this lab sessions. Next, 
if you're new type this in the first line week three now you see I put stars you don't have to do that just single star is enough the star is necessary asterisk is necessary because this is a comment remember all the comments are done using asterisks and remember all the comments are in re in, in, in green in green next now we want to learn about graphing how we graph so let's do this there's a variable called eth so ethnicity ethnicity let me go to that variable et somewhere here if i can see that i'll, I'll eth this variable here eth ukl okay i'll type it one sec one sec one sec let's tabulate tab eth ukul just type it now yeah uh, this is this is a variable in the list you don't have to go to it now under yes <coughs> yeah under week three yeah and if you present it creates a new line and then type this yeah next spelling is important if you have an error data will not forgive you it just keeps going and giving you trouble don't have a wrong uh, incorrect spelling now execute this file oh code tab how to do that new guys look at the board look at the board new guys to execute highlight and click this execute selection there's a paper arrow so highlight and click this and let's have a look we have a table of, uh, oh, this is a frequency table, one-way frequency table of ethnic composition in the UK. Well, this is the ethnic composition of labor force who took part in this survey. These were 10,292 people. The largest group in this, cat in this uh, survey were white people. So this could be a uh, European, Asian, all other white people who come who, are, who participated in the survey. The next largest obviously the uh, black African and then Indians and so on and so forth. Now, this table looks good. It has some information, but does it, does it look nice when you have this so many graphs, uh, categories in a, in, a, in a report? To me, it doesn't. We want to see some, I mean, I want to see in a graph these categories. Uh, there's uh, lots of numbers in there, but if we can describe, describe this in a graph, what graph would be the better one, uh, best graph for this one, for, for describing this table? What type of graph should I choose? Bar chart? Bar chart? Pie chart. Oh, pie chart, yeah. Notice that pie chart is okay, but we have what, nine categories here, lots of different pies. Let's see if it works really. Let's start with the pie. So in the do file, hit enter to get a new line and type star graphing. I'm commenting out and next time when I come back to it I know that next line will be a graph line so a code for graph so graph pi over this variable name e t h u k u l ethnic composition and now if you are if you're using your mobile phone you will miss please do not I won't be able to help you if you do that. But for other reasons, you might miss and I want, you want to ask questions, yes, I'll help you. But with the mobile phones, you won't get any help from me, please. Okay. Do you need help? Yes. You see for the graphing. Yeah. Why do you put one? You can put as many as you want. One is enough, though. Enough. Yeah. It has to be in front of the, the word that you type for that word to be a comment or any expression yeah if you put if you if I remove that thing and then type it here uh, it's not treating it as a, as a comment you see it's not green <coughs> yeah comment is usually green and comments start with an asterisk or asterisks if you want many of them highlight only this line highlight type or click execute selection and you should get the graphing editor graph editor separately is this a good graph nice graph is it showing you whole picture no, no. yeah lots of different colors when you pre you see you can save this graph and then input the graph <coughs> to a word document later if you go to file and save it that's fine that can be done but don't save it now 
But not that. So many different categories and pie chart is just not a good thing because it's difficult to see the magnitude or the size of the pie and tell it, uh, to distinguish between the two group, uh, the, the many groups there and to say which one is larger. Yeah? It doesn't really give the message, but pie chart is good for or is appropriate for when you have four or less, four or fewer categories, not nine categories. Isn't it six? In this case, nine, yeah? If you count five plus four. Now, next, guys. Let's try bar chart. Yeah, bar chart is better for this. Bar chart. Close, close it. Just close. By the way, if you don't close, your your state will freeze and doesn't doesn't let you do anything. Close the graph first. Don't save anything. Now, hit enter and start from a fresh line. Type graph. Now bar, comma over, e t h e k u l. The only difference here is that now I have the bar chart to be. Uh, uh, well, I typed bar here instead of uh, pi. Yeah, I'm telling Stata graph a bar chart of e t h u u k u l. Highlight that and execute it, please. Mine is taking a bit longer. Slow. Is this graph nice? Is it? Is it helping you? Uh, well, it it doesn't, right? It's not that informative. No, I think it's good enough for us in terms of bars telling us the largest and smallest groups. But when it comes to labeling on the x-axis, that doesn't look nice. <coughs> what we want is just rotate the labels to a 45 to 90 degrees to be able to read what they are. At the moment, they are overlapping and they are obstructing each other. <coughs> yeah, it's blurring the message. Now, what we do is we will edit this graph. So go to this bo box here. On the toolbox line here, toolbar, click Start Graph Editor. Take a look at the board. Click this. Start Graph Editor. Click that. Done. The first thing is, as usual, before you save anything, go and create a title. On the objects panel on to the right of the graph, you have title. Yeah, at the bottom, title. Double click on it. Double click here. Yeah, if you're not able to see it, I'm hovering my cursor over it. Double click and in the text box type um, ethnic composition in the UK. Well, this is this data is from 2012. So giving a date, a year will give an idea of well, give us a bit of information, background information, because maybe ethnicity has changed because it has been a what five years now, and immigration and all these things have been changing rapidly. Okay, now click OK, and you have that title, and it's also a custom, also as a nice custom to do is to give a caption, to put a caption with data source. You know, when you create your essay, you want to give the reader where you got the data, information about the data source. So double click on caption here, right here, look at the board, caption, double click, and type data source or any other name, column, say UK labor force survey and 2012. And now you could put the website name or any other source where you got this uh, <coughs> actual source, the original source from. For example, you may have uh, downloaded this from ONS, from OECD, for example, well, any data obviously, but not this specific one. And apply on OK. Now notice that right at the bottom we have the uh, data source now shown, yeah? Perfect. Next, now let's rotate the labels. Now <coughs> since we have, we are in editing mode, that's clicked, right? Double click on the labels here, on the, on the, on the what you call this, uh, confusing labels, double click on it. And you see this pop-up menu, axis properties, everyone has it, right? Okay, good. Click label properties, there's a, there's a, there's a list of options within the global properties click log label properties label properties and in the axis oh sorry angle angle drop down menu choose 45 degrees you can do 90 or anything but you don't want a properly vertical line it take, takes up so much space okay now and now we should be able to read the groups obviously this is um, 
I don't know, making it even worse with the small groups, yeah, not appearing. But I guess you don't have this much, I mean, you won't be dealing with this extreme cases of data. Now, at this point, I want to remind you that if you look at your assignment, the question was about, or the objective was to look at, uh, or to analyze <coughs> the gap, pay gap, uh, based on maybe some other category, category uh, than gender. Now, ethnicity is one category if you want to do. So you look at the white and non-white people's pay gap. And that's an option here if you want. And geography is another, looking at South and North England. Many other different ones, but this is, this is an idea for you if you want to focus on ethnicity. Now, another thing you can do is just if you click here, can you see this T? This, is, this allows you to type anything you want right here. So for example, I'm typing here my text, for example, my text, my first text or what. Yeah, I could, I could type anything here just to tell me, later remind me something else, yeah? But if you want to remove this, obviously, you may not want it. This is usually in this, uh, uh, where is this, the GRP axis? No, not this one. Let me remind myself where I, okay. In the bar region, in the bar region, if you click that, plus, at, right at the bottom is text added, right? Click editor text and here's the text. So if you double click that, it appears, just delete that word and done. You don't have any text, yeah? So play, play with it when you're free. I think your homework is also helpful for practicing. And if you really want to save it, go to file, save as, and give it a name and from save type, if you want to save it as a image file, stata graph should change to uh, PNG. PNG is the image file. And if you want to come back to this file or graph and then edit it later, you should save it as GPH. GPH graph, yeah, GPH. I don't want to come back to it. I don't save it, so cancel. And I will close the graph. Sorry, which one? Oh. What do you want to do? PNG or P PHG? Later, do you want to edit it? Yes, then the yeah. first one. If you want just the image and import it to Word document, then PNG. But you don't have to save it now. It's a practice, obviously. <laughs> you see? This one. Yes, that one is PNG if you want to save it as a graph. It will become an image. Next, guys. Another thing is, if you notice it, we have percentages on the side. We want to have a count of people. So I want to see 8,000 people, all the 8,000 white people here, indicated by the y-axis. So why don't we create a, a, a bar graph with a count or frequency on the y-axis instead of percent. And we give a title as well, uh, we change the label as well in a minute. Um, maybe I'll do that now. So before we close the graph, if you haven't closed, which is good, if you have, just leave it. Double click on this. Uh, change it to this, uh, this pointer first. Double click on the word percent <coughs> and then change it, give it a name. Um, I don't want to give it a name because that was the correct name. Next one I will change, yeah, next one. Close it now, don't save it. If you want to save it, save it, but for those, those who, are not, uh, who haven't yet saved, just uh, close and don't save. Now, as I said, I want to show or or see the count on the y-axis rather than percent. Yes? But, uh, you know, you put the percent. Yeah. How do you get, if you put something wrong, how do you get rid of it? How do you? How do you not uh, edit that part? Uh, double click on percent. Yeah. And then there should be a pop-up menu or uh, pop-up text box. Type inside whatever you want. But then why do you have that wrong in the edit box? Okay. Maybe you have to do edit first. Edit. Click on the edit button first. You can't do it so
it was literally. Now close it and then we start now writing another code. There's another syntax now, the last syntax for today, guys. It's a complex one, a little complex one, but easy to understand. Follow me, please. Oh, please, sorry. Follow me. Right, type uh, graph. Oh, sorry. Because we want a count, and Stata doesn't do it automatically. We have to create a temporary file called counter. <coughs> now, gen is a code for generating, syntax for generating counter, a new variable. Then from a new line, hit enter a new line. Once you type that first line, from a new line, type graph um, bar, and in the bar I want to count the, the, the observations for each category. So I type count using a counter that I created over the variable E T H U K U L. It's a long one. Done it, everyone? Good. Now, we need to execute them together at the same time. Only once. Because once you generate the counter and trying to generate the next time, it give you error and doesn't let you go further. So, highlight the way I am highlighting it. Follow this highlighting process, yeah? Just the same as I did. Together at the same time. And go to paper and arrow again. Execute selection. And give it a second. Right? It's there. <coughs> now, the difference from before is this guy here. Count of count, and you have the in thousands everything, yeah? So, percentages, thousand, count, frequencies are fine, either way is fine. But I think I would go with percentages. But this is just to tell you, teach you how to come back to frequency from percentage frequency, yes? Okay, let me have a look, and then I'll tell you the last bit here now. By the way, why don't you, why don't you edit this graph and change this count of counter to frequency, the word frequency? Replace it with the word frequency. Do this by double clicking on it. But you need to find a graph. Graph digital. Graph digital. Graph Go to edit graph first and then double click on the side and pick it. Like this, if you have done that, um, yes. One thing. Let me let me let the others go now. It's time. I'll help you, <laughs> guys. Um, to change the label, obviously you go to edit first, and then double click on the side here, and lets you change the uh, label, so frequency or any other name you want to give it. Yeah. Okay. And obviously you can you can do a lot of other things here <laughs> by going to advanced format. You can put it in a vertical or horizontal. So do you save the graph? Um, it's it's your. Do you want to save it? Taha. 
I don't. You don't need it. But you save it if you. But this, this. He's calling you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, save it because we're doing nothing with ethnicity. Oh, yeah. Just for just for practicing, you yeah, save it. But I don't think you need it for anything. Just if you finish, then you're done, and you don't have questions. You're welcome to go. You're free to go. Any any questions? Stay behind. Yes. No, don't don't try it. <coughs> you already did the first one. There's no error. I guess that's fine. Oh, okay. Do the last one. Oh, that's okay. If you keep doing this original thing, it gives you error, it doesn't let the other code go. Oh. It doesn't let it proceed. Anyone? Yes. And how we can make the last changes? You have to really save everything, other than graph. So for, for this one, so. Hmm? For which one? Let me double check. Mm, yes, save do file, yes. If it's do file. The actual data, yes, save it as a lab, F LFS underscore lab uh, three, week three. Do I have to save it as that? You can save it to the original if you want, because but we did change some things, yeah? Yeah, we did some changes, but we didn't create any variable, so you can save it into the... Uh, into the existing file, save it as it is. I'm saving as it is. Uh, I guess uh, it I won't cause a trouble to me. Hmm? Do looks I fine. Yes, no, looks fine. Actually, you didn't do actually. This the whole data is LFS data, not ethnicity data. Well, we all we did today is just looked at the variable LFS, and this data contains more than ethnicity. So change it to LFS data or something. Can like I that. change it like by rename? Yeah, rename it. Yeah. Um, okay, I need to stop the recording here. What is it? What about this?